is not the morning. It is the afternoon. It is like 1.15 and but and yet I'm still starting off the video from the car. But I'm almost home. I'm pulling into the complex right now. So far, I've already gone to bar and I just went to Sam's and I got a couple things I will show you. I got gas. It was cheap. It was only like $18 to fill my entire tank with gas, which is so exciting. Did not really go to bed until like three, like woke up at um, like 8.30 or something. Then I like have to get up by like nine. So there was, I, I couldn't even like fall back to sleep. Anyway, the point of what I was saying, um, my body's very tired. And so like when I went to work out today, I was like feeling a little bit weak. Welcome to my Sam's Club haul. Some food things, so I'll show you those first. The gigantic thing of honey roasted turkey breast. Gigantic thing of baby spinach. It's oxymoron. Do I need to say gigantic every time? Gouda. I mean, I really do have to say gigantic for this package of uh, tortillas. Gigantic package of bacon. So this is going to be bacon gouda turkey wraps with spinach. So I'm gonna be making these probably every day for the rest of my life. To accompany those sandwiches, I got a, hit myself in the face, a box of Ms. Vicky's. Oh my gosh, the jalapeno. I had no idea. This is literally so good. Every single one of these flavors is so good. One more food item. This is the Velveeta sandwich in dark chocolate cream. And these remind me of those Milano crackers, but just Velveeta brand. Dental treats for Dorian. Ew. What is that? Oh, you want this? Go get in your bed. Hey, go get in your bed. In your bed. Go in, in your bed, in your bed, go in. I know, go get in your bed, okay, okay, listen, oh, I hear you, lay down, down, lay down, I hear you, go bark, go speak, listen, leave it, leave it, Leave it. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, maybe you don't know this, but they actually have been carrying these Tom's canvas shoes for a while. I want to say probably since I became a member. I don't really know when that was. Maybe a year. I got black. So they, I literally, every time I go, I always check my size. They're completely sold out online of all sizes. And so I can never find my size. And I finally found it size 10 in black and it's like kind of for Georgia I don't always want to wear boots but I don't want to wear sandals so this is like in between like wearing sandals or tennis shoes and boots so having some like slip-ons like this will be perfect for the winter surprisingly in Georgia but on the days that I do want to wear boots I got two packs of these boot crew socks so this is like a blacks or a darks, and they're kind of just like different patterns of black and gray. This one has a little bit of pink on it. And these are just um, monochromatic white or cream and light gray. So these are, actually feel softer. Are these both in my size? Yes, yeah, size four to 10. That's such a huge range, but I'm on the top of that range, size 10. These actually fit perfectly. They say four to 10, but literally they fit me perfectly and I'm a 10. I don't know, I feel bad for the fours. You have to wear these. So cute. I got confirmation last night, like really late last night, that my kayak is on the way from Texas and it should be here like at the earliest on Friday. It's being shipped on an Estes truck, like so freight. I think it only weighs 55 pounds, but it is definitely oversized. And I keep getting like emails and text messages updating me like whenever the truck stops. Um, so I'm so excited about that. I need to find some room in the other room to put it. I don't have anywhere to put it. <laughs> I also want to like figure out some sort of like, uh, like hanging system for either the ceiling or like on the wall. I don't really have that much wall space unless I put it in my own room, like in my bedroom. Do I want a kayak? in my bedroom i don't think so <laughs> i feel like it needs to be in the other room because that's kind of like my adventure like storage room anyway it is 3 30 and my class starts at 4 10. such a long class 
uh, I've just been like sitting here kind of paralyzed by, by the amount of things that I have to do. I have in, an interview to re respond to for Flagpole Magazine, uh, Flagpole Newspaper Magazine, whatever it is. It's an Athens-based periodical. I have to thank my, um, the person who funds the scholarship that I received for the semester. So I, if I'm gonna uh, participate in the MAP conference, I have to submit that. Like, I have to figure out like a five minute elevator statement for my class next week. I need to be, <laughs> it goes on and on and I'm stressed out. Like this is, I literally am like turning red in my neck right here. Cause I'm like, <sighs> freaking out. I have so much stuff I have to do and I'm literally just paralyzed. I, I watered my plants. I felt like that was a, <laughs> a, a productive way to procrastinate. My laundry is completely done. Um, I'm drinking a smoothie. It's a coffee smoothie. I feel like there's more things. I don't know. Angeli, St. Mary of the Angels. And it is a exterior rotunda that's part of the University of Florence. They used to call it uh, La Rotunda dei Scolari, which the name's the Rotunda of the Scholars, because it's connected to the university. But All the right, plan is another long, long class. Only 45 minutes over this time, not an hour and 30. I was able to get uh, like all my bills pretty much paid. Okay, so it's eight o'clock, so I'm gonna figure out what we're gonna do. Maybe I'm gonna make a wrap. Ooh, that sounds good. And then maybe we'll work on that painting. I might have um, bought the wrong size tortillas. Anyway, so spinach, two strips of bacon, two slices of cheese, two slices of turkey, some mustard, two tortillas, spinach, crispy onion strings. I think that's it. I think I'm gonna start with the second value um, just because it, it will be hard obviously to see the white so I'm just gonna get a little dab of the galkid. That's maybe probably enough and then I just mix an appropriate amount. Technically you're not supposed to do this with the paintbrush because it if uh, it goes up into your ferrule it's hard to clean and it can ruin your paintbrushes. So really what I'm looking for I'm gonna just say it's been like probably two years really since I painted but what I'm looking for is smooth peaks like no stiff peaks in any of the the mix so I think this is now appropriately appropriately mixed I think it's going to be easy to spread number two is pink oh God, this is going to take forever one two there's a bunch right there all right let's do this might even need like a smaller brush. I thought I got a small enough brush for this. I'm gonna just go ahead and do this one. Um, so basically the way that I um, do this like painting style is I create a grisaille, which is basically a French word for grayscale or like underpainting, a grayscale underpainting. I think you can do grisailles in other colors. Traditionally they are in grayscale. Um, and so once you have all your like values applied to canvas, also what I typically do, which I did not do for this, is tone the canvas. So I do a like a yellow ochre and raw sienna, I think if I can remember correctly, uh, mixed with gamsol or some type of uh, turpenoid to thin it out and make it really, really... Um, lean uh, to just tone the entire canvas brown so like the layer underneath these first first quote unquote first layers would be tan and it just unifies the entire thing galkid the medium that i'm using is fairly lean for medium uh it is mixed with an alkid which is quick drying i'm surprised i remember any of this is quick drying medium and so that means it is a leaner medium so like more oil equals fatter like more fat. Oh, I think I covered something up. I don't know. Can't tell. Um, it's slower to dry. The colored pigment that goes on top is a much uh, fatter. So there's a much uh, more. Ooh, out of the lines there. It's uh, a much slower 
drying. I started this at 8.20 something. It is now 10.30. Two hours to do like nothing. Oh, it's so, it's so tedious. There's such tiny little spaces. Like here's my hand for scale. I, this paintbrush, too big. This paintbrush was too big. I had to switch to this tiny one. It won't even focus on it, it's so tiny. But anyway, so like in order to do these like little tiny, tiny, tiny things, these are the hard parts, obviously. These larger areas are gonna be the darker values and they're gonna be a lot easier. And yeah, we're gonna call it a night. Let me close this thing. Got so much done today. Am I right? Good morning, this is day three now. It's Friday uh, the 2nd. I I have three values down so far and I'm gonna do maybe another one or two today. It's 12, it's 12 o'clock. No, it's one o'clock. And I would like to get to the actual like glass studio probably after four. That way I don't have to worry about parking. So I'm gonna work on this for a little bit before I go in there. A mango and pineapple, papaya, peanut butter, Cirola, I don't know. It has a lot of stuff in it, but I always have like a little bit extra and so it, it goes into these little like dark mark mini wine glasses. I don't really have too much to say uh, uh, in terms of voiceover for this portion. It's just like kind of a quick time lapse. This is actually sped up. Uh, it doesn't look like it, but it is. So I don't know. I think I just want to come on here to say hi. It's Catherine. <laughs> um, I feel like I've been posting a lot of stuff that's really, really, really very different. So I have some painting, some stained glass, some embroidery stuff, some, I don't know, some backpacking, kayaking, that sort of thing. And I know it is very different and I'm aware of that. And so I just want to ask you if you're here, hello, thank you for being here. Like what are you interested in seeing, I guess? like in regards to the last things that I mentioned like are you only interested in the art are you only interested in backpacking like let me know what you want just so that I can get a sense of like who's watching because like I said I do have a lot of different things that I've been posting about so anyway enjoy the rest of the video that value took literally two hours it is now three o'clock and I don't know but I don't really see that much difference do you? Come here. You're cute. Okay, so I was about to take Dorian to go for, like, to go out to go potty. Holy shit, there's deer right there. What up, deer? <laughs> right there. Just staring at us as we come through. We're gonna come through this way, so if you guys wanna go, if you guys wanna move, that's cool. Oh my god, a baby! Oh my goodness! Hello! They're just like so close. If y'all wanna like maybe move, that would be cool. Or we can just walk past. Like we can see you. We're really close. We're really, really close. We're not gonna hurt you. We're just gonna walk past. That's all. You're just gonna look past. Okay. Yep, we're gonna come down that way. Easy baby doe. That was cool. It was crazy. They're not they're not afraid of me at all, which is kind of unnerving. A little bit dangerous for them to not be scared. I was about to take Dorian enough to go potty. It was like five o'clock or something like that. And I was like, you know what? Let's just go to walk. We haven't done that in a little while. And I was like kind of bored. I just felt like getting out and going about so I didn't work out this morning so anyway we're it's like a three-ish three and a half to four mile walk and then now we're just walking through the woods to get back to the road that we started on and I can hear another dog I think but 
All right, it's a little bit cold, so I feel like my nose is like red or something, but so we, I saw a really pretty flower, and I'm not really that type of person that like stops to like take pictures of flowers and things like that. When we're walking, I just like to get where we're going. I like to get exercise. Ooh, I almost fell. I don't want to stop a bunch of times. I don't really stop for flowers, but these are so pretty. Bro, watch out. This one, I was just like, oh my god, I've never really seen one like this, and there was only two in this whole little area. I took some footage of like downtown Five Points. So I live pretty close to Five Points. If you don't know what Five Points is, there are many different Five Points. It's basically just where five roads meet in like a star shape. So there's one in Atlanta, there's one here in Athens. I'm sure there's others in other states and cities. A little Condor chocolates, which is like locally made Mexican chocolates. There's Abbott Bookshop. There's a couple different like little bars and restaurants and things like that. Cool mural, don't know who it's by. Uh, this is the, a clock tower, but it's also the fire station. A local bakery, never been there, looks super cute, wanna go. And then right in front of that is a Fleet Feet. It's like a running store. Then I've never been to any of these restaurants. On the right is Jittery Joe's Coffee. It's like a local Athens coffee shop. And then the Hub Bicycles is where I got my bike. I was really excited to see that this church is going to be having pumpkins. I'm so excited because I actually want to carve pumpkins. Drew said that he would do it with me. So maybe next time he comes up here, we can carve pumpkins. We're about huh, a mile from home. So I'll probably just see you then. Right, there's the first time you can't go on the street yet. Alright, it's like 9 o'clock I think and I've, I worked on this a little bit more. Um, I think I'm going to call it a night. I was looking at the embroidery and I, I remember that I had like changed a little bit of like while I was embroidering because I was paying more attention to the reference photo um, and less attention to the drawing that I did and now it is driving me insane because I just realized how much I didn't include in the drawing when I started transferring it uh, onto the like initial embroidery work. I don't know if that makes sense at all, but there was a lot of stuff I left out, a lot of like oversimplification, and I like it better with more detail the way that it's done in the embroidery, but I didn't make note of any of those changes that I made on my like template or whatever it's called, the pattern that I made. Um, so I'm trying to look at the embroidery thing and then trying to transfer those lines onto this and it is driving me nuts, but I'll show you what I have. I don't know if you remember much of like what it looked like before, but so there's a lot, there's a lot more going on, um, in those like mostly, mostly in the couch area, a little bit on this pillow than before. I'm going to call it a night on this project painting for, <laughs> for today and also for this video. So this is gonna be the last video, probably this weekend. I won't uh, have another one until maybe like Monday and it will include stuff that we did this weekend. I know we're playing kickball on Saturday, on Sunday, I should say, um, but I don't know what else is going on. So like and subscribe to be updated for when that video goes up and we'll see you then. Thank you so much for watching, bye.